We're here with the legend, Mr. Ross. What's doing? going on? Oh man, you know, enjoying New York. Mm. This nice weather. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, for a change, I, I can't take that cold, so I try to get in here while it's still warm. <laughs> right. And so being that we're celebrating 50 years of hip-hop and Timberland, what do you think about the uh, evolution of it? Of both? Well, well you know, I, I love hip-hop. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like the message of hip-hop today. Uh, I, I think that it's a, a, a message of incarceration and uh, destruction. Mm -hmm. But... The way these young brothers move the crowd, I mean, you know, you got to be applauded. Yeah. You know, with that, with that talent that they have, uh, I mean, it's like nothing else, you know, that we ever seen. And, and you know, I was there at the beginning of hip-hop, so uh, um, I know how it started and to see where it's at today. I, I was friends with Dick Griffey, Otis Smith. Barry Gordy and when they were saying that hip hop was a fad and to now see that it has blossomed in the billions and billions of dollars and have crossed over all the seas and different languages. I, I, I just left France two weeks ago and they was playing hip hop in France and these people didn't speak no English but uh, the music crossed those barriers so you know to see that type of uh, response to, to this art that was created you know, right here in New York, I mean, you know, it's just like, wow. Mm -hmm. and so what do you have going on? I'm going to be opening a dispensary in like three weeks in L.A. Yeah, yeah, I just got a, a distribution deal with Universal Music Group, so I'm looking for artists. Uh, what else am I doing, man? I don't know. I'm in pre-production. <laughs> pre-production on my movie. My book is going to be turned into French. Uh, that's what I was in France for, to, to turn the book into French. Uh, I'm working on a new book. You know, why niggas don't want money. Uh, what else am I doing? Why that topic? Or why that title, actually? I think it's important, you know, that, that, that we figure out why are we doing so many things that's contradictory to having money. I think that uh, a lot of the things that we're practicing today is contradictory of having money. And I want to know why. Why we don't get back to, you know, when I was, when I was a kid, we all wanted money, you right. know. We go clean yards and wash cars. I mean, we was doing everything we can to have money. And now it seems like we get money and we want to go to jail, you know. You hit the, you hit the nail right on the head. <laughs> so I, I want to explore that. Uh, I'll be asking that question, you know, to, to, to not, not just you, but to, to, to a lot of different people to find out why, why we don't want money. I love it. Can I just get a quick shout out for All Harlem World? Shout yourself out for All Harlem World. I'm going to let you hold the mic. Thank you so much. What up, y'all? It's your man, Freeway Ricky Ross. I'm giving a shout out to my people at All Harlem World. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. We need you. Thank you so much, Kim. Was that cool?